Shodan, a search engine that is specifically designed for hackers and cybersecurity analysts to discover whatever open ports are there on the internet. In this video, we are going to be searching for webcams, satellites, any kind of camera which is open, and open devices, and even voting machines. So anything that is there open on the internet will be shown by Shodan. Let's get started. So first to just explain what Shodan is and how it works. So here, as you can see, we have got Jerry and he has got three devices in his house, which is a webcam, a computer and a Wi-Fi network. And these are all forgotten devices, which means that Jerry has absolutely forgotten he purchased them, but they are still active in his home. And maybe it is just open on the internet without any passwords. And you won't believe that there are tons of devices like this that don't have any password and they are just there on the internet, right? And it's not actually illegal if you just go on these webcams and you can see anything. It is publicly available information. If you know what Google dorking is, it is basically refining your search into what you exactly want. And Google dorking can also give you a lot of information on your target. Shodan works the exact same way, but it is a better device, a more powerful device, which can get you much more stuff. So as hackers, what we do, we try to get all the information that is open on the internet, which is not illegal. Again, and you can just take that information, you can play around with it and nobody is going to mind it. So here, as you can see, we have got a GitHub page written by someone named Jake Jarvis, all right. So he has written these awesome shortened queries. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So first, let's see what Shodan actually is. So once you open Shodan, you will be told to log in. So if you have a Google account, Facebook account, or an email ID, you can easily log in from any of them. And here you can see we have got filters cheat codes. So we have got city, country, HTTP title, net, or all these things, right? So this is a short and official page for filter references, right? So you can use all these to get filter references. So if you want computers that are open on the internet that have the SSH port open, so you can just type SSH and it will give you all those computers which are open, right? Then if you want anything related to Bitcoins or cryptocurrency, you can just type Bitcoin and it will give all the Bitcoin miners or mining servers open on the internet. So here you can see we have got a search box. Let's just type webcam. So it's that simple. You just type webcam and it will give you a ton of results on whatever webcams are open. So as you can see, this is from different countries and all these webcams are just open on the internet. So if you just open them on a new tab, it will show the IP and it will show that the webcam is actually open for the public to view. So yes, this is a webcam. So I can also change the source. So see, and it's live view in the evening, this looks like a forest or something else. So all of these are open IPs and there are tons of them and you can just play around with them, right? You can specify the country that you want browse images view on the maps. So let's say now I wanna get some information on the university website. So let's say the Cambridge University website and I want as much and extra information as I can from them. So all I have to do, I have to go on the webcam and replace it with organization and yes, Cambridge University. Press enter and it will give all the open IPs on the Cambridge University. As you can see, Cambridge University. So all of these might be open, might be closed, but the, this will give you all the IPs and everything that you require and you can use as many search parameter. And if you are more comfortable with the command line version, you can use a shortened API. It's free for some extent, but after a while, you have to pay a small fee to use a CLI version of it and also to get better results. So this video is just for education purposes, and I'm going to show you how awesome this tool is and what all you can do with it. Then here, as you can see, we have got gas station pump controllers, automatic license plate readers, traffic light controllers. So let's just copy this command and I'm going to paste it here. So it might be open, it might be closed, but everything that is there on that IP of voter system serial in the United States will show it to me. So 
It is Voter Systems Serial Remote Console Access. As you can see, it might require a login, but of course it will require a login, but still very amazing if you can get an IP of such a high profile thing. Then if you go back to the GitHub page, we can see that we have got telcos running, wiretaps. So, tons of stuff, you know, Tesla power pack charging status. It's very alarming that all of these devices are just there on the internet, just kept there without anyone noticing and anyone in the entire world can use them. So, that's why cybersecurity has become such a big threat these days because all of these devices are just open there for anyone to use. So, you can go through this. There are lots of interesting stuff, maritime satellites. Let's just copy this. We are getting maritime satellites to boats right so there are satellites which have their remote connection on to boats right. I just did Sailor VSAT because VSAT is mostly used for satellites, but still you know we have got two top results for satellites you know that's still a big deal. If I just open this in a new page let me just open that as well. As you can see it is a ton of fun on if you are just working with Shodan like that. So yes we have got a page open for the sailor that yes right here. As you can see we have got the vessel is heading 159.7 degrees. I don't know what that actually means but we are getting the exact location where the vessel is, heading the satellite profile and you cannot actually change this that will be very very big vulnerability. But you can see this that's also a very big vulnerability right? It is amazing on what this tool can accomplish, and if you want to experiment more with it, I will leave the GitHub page link down in the description below. So, we have got a ton of cool stuff that you can do. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button down there. And if you are into cybersecurity, ethical hacking, bug bounty, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.